In this video, we'll look at creating the SD card to use with the ZITU111 RFSOC RF Data Converter Evaluation Tool. Starting from the Getting Started Guide for the Eval Tool, let's take a look at the section about design files. You're shown the directory structure, but there's not a whole lot of explanation here about the files themselves. In the 2019.1 design files, the images folder now has additional files and subdirectories. More on that later. Next, let's look at the section about micro SD card preparation. I'm using the card that came with my kit, which I haven't reformatted since I got it. So I don't need to worry about this SD formatter tool that's mentioned here. But if you aren't sure, you can go ahead and make sure your card is FAT32 formatted. The instructions say, copy all the files to the FAT formatted SD card. All the files? No, actually, not all the files, and especially not in 2019.1. Let's look at what's in the design file zip file. So this is the directory structure that we saw earlier. If we go to images, there's now um, these folders with lowercase names, folders with uppercase names, and then some files here. If we look at the top level directory, there is a readme file here, but it's not that helpful. It just points you back to the Getting Started Guide. So now let's go back and look at the Build and Run Flow tutorial section. So that points you to a Build and Run Flow tutorial page, where if we go to Appendix C Dynamic Bitstream, that will now tell us which files we need to copy, which folders we need to copy to the micro SD card. And it tells us a little bit about these files. If we go back to the images directory, and open up one of these, you'll see there's a DTBO file, and a bit file. So this is the bit stream that will get loaded dynamically and the device tree overlay for what's in the PL. OK, so let's copy these files over now. And our micro SD card is now ready. Thanks for watching.